Welcome back to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about um, publishing a game to the internet. Um, and I have to say that I did it and then found some problems and worked through some of those. So I'll show you uh, basically what happened. Um, it goes back to the XML that we were trying to do, um, the settings. Um, so I need to do a little bit more research, but um, I wanted to get this up and running, so I have worked out a way that um, that it'll work. Um, but I'm hoping that there's a better way of doing it. So what I did is, if you remember, uh, actually let's go into the code here. So on in the main AI, we had a state for git xml. Um, I'm off the screen here. There we go. We had a state for git xml, and on the on enter, we went over to here and we said XML receive and this used to say file and it was just a local directory uh, within my project well doesn't look like that gets exported or we're not able to access it in the way that I was thinking that we'd be able to do it um, and so what I did is I just went ahead and uploaded the XML file to the server to the web server where I'm going to have this so now I'm just using the um, the link to that file through HTTP and when we go over to the game we hit play we click our button now we we still get that um, setting that causes the ball to move so that was just the one little thing that I had to change um, otherwise the way you do it um, the way you set up a game on the internet is uh, you're just going to export the game so go to the data explorer make sure you're on the games folder click on the game name and then go to export go to export game and you'll see that there's this FTP setup here so when I was testing I did it to the local folder um, in fact let me show you something really quick so uh, we put the name of the game um, the version I just always leave it at 0 0.1 it makes it a little easier for me and to make sure that's checked the runtime package we're going to export to the local folder, so we hit, hit export. Um, says done. It pops open the folder. When you have Shiva in, uh, installed on your computer, uh, there's actually a player um, that's on there. So if you double click on this STK file, which is, represents the whole archive, you can see you know a whopping 12 kilobytes at this point. If you double click on that though, it's actually going to open it up in uh, on your PC. Now I did notice that the mouse controls are a little, I don't know, they're a little laggy, so I'm not sure uh, what's going on with that. Um, but it seems like I click and it doesn't really do anything and I click again. Um, it might be the fact that I'm doing on mouse button down because it seems like when I click quickly uh, it doesn't register, but if I hold the, the mouse button down a little bit then it finally gets it. Alright, um, I haven't figured out how to get out of this easily so I just hit all F4 to close the application alright let's not get sidetracked though so our main goal is to get this on the internet so um, what I did instead is I set up my FTP stuff now I'm gonna pause the video here while I fill this in and export because I don't want you guys trying to hack into my my FTP site so not that I don't trust you but you know I just don't know you guys so you know I'm just not gonna hand out my FTP credentials and everything to just everybody. All right, so let me pause this and then uh, we'll come back in just a second. Okay, so we're back. I went ahead and exported the uh, STK file to the web server via FTP. Now the next thing I'm going to do is let's open the Shiva authoring tool, which also is part of the personal learning edition that you can get for free. And let's move that open over just a little bit. So you can see over on the left we have all these different options. Now there's locks on the iPhone and iPad because those need to be run from a Mac. So you have to install the, the client on the Mac and then do it from there. Kind of a bummer. Um, I don't have the money for a Mac, but maybe I can find somebody to let me borrow one when I want to publish it to the iPhone. Um, so there's lots of different uh, options we have here. You'll notice that it has the AirPlay. So this is, you could export it to um, uh, I think it's idea the idea works um, airplay system there's it opens up the opportunity to publish to a few different platforms 
um, in addition to what's on here. Uh, I think they're going to be supporting BlackBerry and a few other things soon. So it just gives you more options. Anyways, we're going to jump down to internet. So let's, uh, you have the option to use the tutorial or the documentation or get started now. There's even some settings down here. Let's just click on get started now. The location for my game is going to be HTTP um, your graphic come on resource.com and I just want to say thank you to my buddy Matt Young he's uh, letting me borrow his web space to get this up and running just to keep my costs down um, slash subspace okay I right, we'll leave it there I'm not sure I haven't played with the light box system yet so I don't know what that is we'll hit next and then that's it um, let's see what the settings are okay so nothing that we need to really look at but then we click on build it's going to build our um, HTML here. Now one thing I can see that I forgot is you look in here, here's the call to our game and actually I forgot that it's not just a folder but we need to have the name of the game itself. So this is something that when you're doing the export you might want to go and, and write down what the name's going to be and basically the name is the name of the game plus the little um, version number that was on the end. So in, in my case let's go back here and let's do and um, depending on your server this may be case sensitive so mine is um, so I have to do capital R for radioactive uh, come on and then it's dash and then the version number which I did is 0 0.1 and then dot STK so that's the only thing that gets a little tricky we'll hit build now you can see that it does have in here HTTP your graphic resource dot com subspace radioactive dash zero one or yeah zero dot one dot SDK. Okay, so save generated HTML. Put it wherever you would like to put it so that you know uh, where it is. And I like to just call this. Uh, You can see I did it before, actually, radioactive. What was I doing? Okay, radioactive. We'll just overwrite that. Yes, replace it. Okay, so I now have HTML that I can use. Um, the um, project files are already up on the server because it has a built-in FTP client. So I just use FileZilla, but you can use any FTP client. Log into your FTP server and stick this right in, um, you know, whatever makes sense. In my case, I'm going to be putting it in, in the folder subspace on the server. Um, so once you upload that, this is what's going to happen. Let's load um, I haven't tried to run it in Internet Explorer yet. I was running it in Firefox. So I'm just kind of doing this as a test. So my link was HTTP your graphic resource dot com subspace slash yeah slash radioactive dot html okay so in this case, it looks like the plugin works for both Internet Explorer and Firefox. I thought maybe I'd have to do another installation for Internet Explorer. When you guys go there for the first time, you're probably going to get the little pop-up that says, you know, we need the Shiva 3D uh, plugin. It's a really fast install. It's real lightweight. Um, and then once it's installed, it should, should load, load up right like this. So click the button, and there goes the ball. So pretty simple. Not a whole lot to it. Um, it is nice how, you know, once everything's set up, so in this case, um, all I need to do if I want to make changes of the game is I go into Shiva, I make my changes, I export the game to my FTP. I don't need to change the, the HTML file. I don't need to change anything else because it's all set up to point to the game. Unless when you're exporting, you change the version name. That's why I said I like to leave the version name when I'm uploading 
Um, I like to leave it the same. That way the name never changes and I can just continue to push it out and not have to change any of my HTML or anything. So it's pretty simple. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please check out uh, the link. I'm, I'm going to stick it on my my blog. I haven't done that yet, actually. Let me pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, love the internet. All right, I'm back. Um, so if you go to my blog, subspacegames.com, there's now a link up at the top that takes you to the game prototype. And uh, it'll just click over and it'll load up. You'll be able to come in here and click the button, watch the ball bounce. Pretty exciting. Um, the forum um, I've also created, and this is for giving any feedback on the, um, the game itself. Um, so what's exciting is I've already got a couple people here, so shout out to um, Fizzy and Shando. Um, I haven't been watching the forum yet because it was just for doing the uh, the tutorials, but it looks like we've got our first two people in the in the forums. Um, I don't expect a whole lot of traffic for now, just because uh, you know there's not a lot of feedback to give on the game uh, in these early stages. But as we get going, please jump in here, sign up on the forum if you want to leave some comments. Once again, all the testers um, you know that that touch base with me are going to get their name um, on the testing of the credits uh, for the game. So hop in here. Um, feel free to leave comments on my blog. Um, you know, just check around. We've got. Um, you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. Anything that you would want to see. There's also a links page here that um, takes you to some of the. Um, this is my X, bar, X marks page. Gives you some of the things that I've been doing. I need to, to actually update this quite a bit more. So um, you'll see more links coming uh, within the near future. Anyways. So that's it for tonight. Hope you enjoy being able to view the game and like how easy it is to set it up. And we're hopefully going to start moving pretty quickly here so we can actually get something to play with. So we'll see you next time.